Today we lost what I believe to be the greatest baseball player who ever lived. Today we honor him by talking about Willie Mays' wonderful career. He is the only player to have at least 50 home runs in a season and 20 triples in a season. Even more impressive, it happened only two years apart. He was always in contention for the MVP award, receiving MVP votes in each season from 1954 to 1966, a stretch of 13 years. He was an extra base hit machine, hitting at least 70 extra base hits in 13 straight seasons. His 18 All-Star games as a starter is the most for any player in Major League Baseball history. Some say they invented the All-Star game for Willie Mays. He is the best center fielder of all time. His 12 gold gloves are the most by any center fielder. He is the only player in MLB history with at least 3,000 hits, a 300 career average, 300 home runs, and 300 stolen bases. He had four home run titles, four stolen base titles, and one batting title. He also led the NL five times apiece in OPS and slugging percentage. He was the first player in Major League Baseball history to hit 50 home runs and steal 20 bases in the same season. He finished 6.6 .6 war shy of the all-time mark for position players, despite missing most of the 1952 season and the entire 1953 season while serving in the U.S. Army. It didn't matter the situation he always produced batting over 300 at home, on the road, against right-handers, left-handers, and every month with the exception of July. He had 17 20 home run seasons, 11 30 home run seasons, 6 40 home run seasons, and 2 50 home run seasons. So today we say goodbye to the Say Hey Kid. Thank you for all you did for the game of baseball. Instead of doing my closing statement, I'm going to give a moment of silence to somebody who deserves more than that.